Hi, wise women. Happy Friday. Well, some of you who are in the private Facebook group know that I posted uh, a message last week, I believe, or maybe it was Sunday, um, about last weekend's work here at our retreat. We are building the stone walls for the exterior of these cottages. And I had the opportunity last Saturday to work with my son very closely for about six hours in this stonework. And it's called slip form uh, stone wall construction. And if you uh, know anything about the nearings um, and their work in Maine and Vermont and all of their amazing like homesteading that they did, um, they did this kind of construction too. It's very old, it's very old. And it, um, it's just, it's almost like a meditation process, I have to tell you, because the way that you gather the stones, all of the stones are coming from our land and then examine them to see like wh which will fit best where, like the cornerstones are really important and they have to have those hard edges to them. Um, but also the shape and, you know, you don't want them too thin. You want them thick enough. Um, it's a process that I learned so much more about. I mean, thankfully, we had somebody help us. Like one of my former students built his stone house in Maine. And my son, who's a heating and plumbing contractor, he actually went there and plumbed his house for him in exchange for this young man to come from Maine and teach us the slip form technique. And when that happened for a week in August, um, I was observing it, but we had my, all of my sons were involved. And so I was just kind of a, a, an onlooker, you know, the, the whole process, not too fully engaged. So last Saturday, I was one of the workers. And so what I posted in our private group was how my son's first reaction was, mom, you can't do this. Like, this is too exhausting. It's too heavy lifting. You know, you're using your whole body. And I said, of course I can do it. I've been practicing yoga for like, uh, well, since 1984. <laughs> and really, since about 19, oh gosh, 95, 96, uh, when my father was terminally ill and I was taking care of him, I was practicing yoga every day because it was really helping me with my grief at that point too. So I have a daily practice. It's not long. Every day looks a little different. There's some asanas I try to build in every day, but I also try to change it up. I also listen to my body and see how I feel. Sometimes it might just be a very, very long savasana that I need. But my point in this is we underestimate the advantages, the power, the aspects of yoga that builds our strength builds our strength. You know, I talk about the emotional strength it gives us, which I feel very strongly about, but it also gives us a lot of physical strength too. And I practice more yin yoga and restorative yoga where you're holding the poses through maybe five, six minutes or longer. Okay. Which really helps to release the tension in the connective tissue, etc. So, I made it through that day beautifully. In fact, I have to say, I felt great. I felt great the next day too. My body felt like it had this incredible workout with the stones. It really um, worked, I think, every part of my body. My legs were engaged, you know, my every time I would scoop out this cement to hand it over to my son to go in the back of the slip form, you know, I'd feel my abdominal muscles engage and of course my arms and my shoulders everything and I knew when to take breaks you know I took a, a break and just laid on the concrete floor for about five minutes and then felt better but I say this to you because I really believe in the power of a self-care practice in your life that you that you incorporate every single day 
and you don't you don't think of it like a to-do list okay like oh got to check off the yoga today no no you think of it as a pleasure a pleasure that you can just invite into your day i know i do i always look forward to it most of my yoga practice is at night helps me to just wind down even if i'm doing Suri Namaskar, Salutation to the Sun, you know, which is kind of energizing. It still helps me to relax and to stretch out before I sleep. So I also want you to know that I have a subscription service to my classes and I'm going to include the link here too. It's um, just $25 a month and you get a class a week. So you'll get at least four classes a month it's delivered to your inbox. And those who have taken my class before knows it's not like an exercise class, okay? It's really a spiritual practice that you build into your life and you build it consistently into your day. And it's really about developing that self-awareness about your body too and not not feeling like it's um, an obligation, but it's a gift that you give to yourself. Okay, so consider signing up. You know, you can try it out for one month and then cancel your subscription. Um, but I think you're going to really enjoy it. And you can do it in the privacy of your own home, of course. Um, and I also include um, a little video about props because there, there are a number of props you can use, but there are things that you probably have around your house. You don't have to go out and spend a lot of money on props. Having a yoga mat is a good thing though, and that's a safety thing so that you're not slipping. Okay, so consider signing up for my yoga classes. Correspond with me. Um, if you want any more information, you can write to me at my email, which is also on this newsletter. Um, and send me your email too, because, uh, you know, I can, I can send you the link and answer your questions. All right. Well, I hope you have a wonderful weekend ahead of you. I am going to be doing more stonework this weekend. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye.